it's TX Stamp and Sharon. Welcome to my technique class. This is my October technique class, and we are at volume number 18. Do you want to know how many total techniques that is? How about 90? 90 techniques, 90 card making techniques to give you just a little extra something to make your cards. Um, a little bit more special. So we've had a really good time with these techniques. I have some more up my sleeve that will be coming down. Um, I don't know, in the next month or two, we might finish up this series. Every time I say that, y'all go, no, no. Um, it is um, Thursday, October the 5th of 2023. And I am live at seven o'clock PM. If you're watching the replay, thank you. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you are inspired to give these techniques a try um, because they're so much fun. I do want to say hello to everyone who has joined me during the live. Um, I, I go over to that computer and I'm typing and then I'll go, oh, it's time to go. I come back over here to this one. Um, so hello, Susan Clement from Pottsboro, Texas. Hi, Mary Yates. Hi, Kathy Demo. How are you? Um, hi, Rochelle. Uh, let's see. And there's, there's Rochelle and there's Michelle. Um, hi, Stella. Hello, Virginia Batson. Um, did Michelle Batson make it? I was looking for her. There we are. Um, oh my goodness, Michelle, take care of your daughter. Don't worry about us. We got this. Don't worry about your daughter. I mean, don't worry about your daughter. Don't worry about me. Take care of your daughter. Michelle is our moderator. Um, but Michelle, honestly, if you need to go, don't worry about it. Um, I'm sure that I know Renee is on and uh, other people. So um, other people who could help us uh, answer any questions. So I'm going to get started with the techniques. Um, but as you, if you have any questions um, for me or whatever, you could type the at sign and start typing names. So I will try my best to answer questions if Michelle cannot stay with us. Um, but I, um, I was not, hi, <laughs> hi, Cheryl Thompson. It is good to be back. I was not here on Monday night. Um, we, um, we are expecting grandbaby number 14 this month. And let me just tell you, we are all on high alert uh, this is my daughter's third child. So, you know, these babies, mm, they give us a run for our money. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I appreciate everybody being so, uh, so nice when I couldn't, when I couldn't go live on Monday night. There may be some other nights that I don't get to go live. However, I am working very hard to bring you some recorded videos so that you're still inspired um, each week with all the things that I just can't wait to share. So there you go. Okay. Um, okay, Michelle, you do whatever you need to do. Everybody else can hear me though, right? Nobody else is saying that they can't hear me. Hi, Polly Libby. Um, yes, definitely prayers for your daughter. I hope that she is doing okay. I've never had a concussion, but I can't even imagine. That's got to be very, very scary. Um, and painful because you had to have get, gotten bonked on the head for that to happen. So we are doing techniques. And before I forget, I have this page open. I redid this page. Um, it is a free download. It is some techniques that we have learned in the past that I call free techniques. But I redid it because it said free fun folds. What? <laughs> We've done some fun folds and all. Anyway. I fixed the, the form and you can go to my blog and download that. Um, after the live is over, you will be able to see um, the tutorial. There are two ways to get my technique card, technique tutorial. Sorry about that. Um, you can either uh, get them for free when you make a purchase of $50 through my Stampin' Up! website. You should be able to find the link to that below the video. Um, and you can either leave them whole like this. So eight and a half by 11 and tuck them into a three ring binder, or you can cut them apart 
and use them in the album that you can also find on my website. This is actually like the Memories and More Photo album. Um, you buy the album and then you buy the protector pages. I mentioned earlier, this is volume 18. Y'all, look how many techniques we have learned over the time that we started this. I started this in October of 2021. We kind of took a break. Well, we kind of veered off and did those fun folds that I was mentioning. Um, but yeah, we are finishing up and doing our, um, so I'm just looking, um, still no sound. Hmm. Renee still has no sound. And um, Renee, Renee is helping Michelle. Maybe I should just focus on what I'm doing. Um, Thank you, Shirley. I am very happy that my daughter is doing well. We are, um, you know, the toddler brought home some, some, uh, what was it? Susan Clement, what was it? Uh, children or Petri dishes. <laughs> um, so my grandson brought home a bug. My daughter got it. She got sick, got very sick. And because she's pregnant, it affected her more. So yeah, we just need to keep everybody healthy and get through the month of October. Yeah, that would be good. So, um, okay. So everybody else can hear me. Good. Okay. All right. So we have learned, like I said, so many techniques. Now I'm just going to go through um, this, these pages because I want you to see like it's designed, the, the PDF is designed to cut apart and store them like this in these pages. Now, as you start to uh, use some of these pages, you're going to find some that are four on a page like this, and you can still use them. The way I do it is I have the instructions over here, the picture and the um, supplies that I use to make that card across from it. OK, so I think that um, that helps you be able to use more of those pages. So, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with tonight's um, techniques. Um, and I'm glad you guys are helping Michelle. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start. And if you guys, if, if y'all have any questions, just let me know. So the first technique that we are going to do is called, let me take this off. Coloring glimmer or, or dazzling paper. So, um, this is called dazzle paper from Stampin' Up. And um, there is currently another one that is being offered. I don't, I didn't see it on the website. You know, sometimes uh, things are um, not available like right away and they'll be back kind of thing from the different catalogs. So you can see here where I colored it. Look how it just dazzles. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, I colored the the paper. So it comes in either silver or gold. And I think Renee tried this with gold um, during our um, team meeting. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Look, Leslie, where is it? Where is it? Look at that. That I am blingy. Can y'all see that? <laughs> Y'all have to see this on the big screen. I have got a, a gem on my cheek. <laughs> I was like, what, what is that? Oh my good. Okay. Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> okay. So back to this. Um, maybe you don't want silver or gold or champagne. I think this is more of a champagne because it's not total silver. Um, but yeah, we can color this. So we're going to do that first um, on my card. And I showed how to do this card. Uh, what was it last week? Um, how to do the DIY interactive card. Right? Don't y'all just love how I show off the product? <laughs> I was going to take it off, but I thought, no, I think I'll show my husband after the live is over. I used curved occasions and the punch to make the card, okay? Um, but I'm not going to be making the card. I don't make the card during the techniques. I have no place to put my stuff. I am full. I am full tonight. Okay, so we're just going to try this. Okay, 
So since you can see what um, it is a special beauty mark, Susan. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Renee. Renee has shown you the link that you can see this paper on my website. Um, and Renee, did you answer me about, didn't you do it in gold? Kay saw it earlier. She, she just thought it was cute. I, at least it's not on my nose. <laughs> um, I, I know that Renee did something um, with um, the gold and I don't remember if it was the dazzle. So I thought we would try coloring the gold and then we could compare. Okay. Just so we have a good idea. All right. I'm going to move my card out of the way and put all of this over here. So the first thing we need to do is protect our work surface, okay, because we're going to get messy. Techniques can be messy. I'm going to use one of the, Renee said no, it was someone else. Okay, during the team meeting, you didn't do gold? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We're going to do gold today. Uh, yay, Michelle is back. So I have a uh, one of the Stampin' Spritzers. These come two in a pack. And I have one labeled alcohol, okay? Not like the kind you drink. Like this is not my little wine sippy cup. No, no, we need a bigger sippy cup. Um, and so I just keep this. Now, I will tell you, no matter how hard I try to clean it, once I have used an ink refill, it is in there. Oh, I guess I got some water on me. Anyway, it is just in there. And it's fine because these are relatively inexpensive and I just kind of keep them to the color family if I need to. Um, I, I took this to the sink and I washed it a million times. Um, but anyway, so you want to use um, isopropyl alcohol. Look at me. I'm so proud because until y'all taught me how to say it, I couldn't say that word. But you want to use the 91% or higher, okay? Um Oh, uh, okay, Renee. Renee said that she used gold spray on her mirror card. Okay, we do we do different things on our on our team meetings, and sometimes I just totally forget. So, all right, why is this not opening? There we go. Okay, so I want to fill this about three quarters of the way full. Don't want to fill it all the way because we need to add some ink refill. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I am going to use some Melon Mambo, and you kind of need to go a little overboard, right? So we're going to add about six drops, six or seven drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. There we go. Okay, um, and we're going to kind of test it because we need this to be dark, all right, so we're going to put the top back on and we're going to shake it. Mix it up. Hi, Betty. I'm so glad you're here. All right, so we've got that mixed. Um, and again, we want to cover our surface here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the heck out of it with my, um, with my spritzer. Always want to make sure that we are spritzing in the right direction. And you kind of just keep adding until it's dark enough. Um, it, 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 Y'all can see the spots, okay? But if you kind of tilt the paper, it'll run. Y'all see that running? So you can kind of save some of the alcohol without because it's gonna it's gonna spritz out like this and be kind of globby so we're just oh, look how pretty I mean guys isn't that gorgeous <laughs> so I'm just kind of letting it run to fill in hi Liz Smith from Arkansas um Eight comes after seven, not seven after seven. This isn't Mystery Monday. What did I say? What did I say? Is she after me again? What did I do? <laughs> Eight comes after seven. Did I, did I say the wrong time? Y'all, Renee is trying her best to 
to throw me, I think. Renee is so much fun. Renee helps me on my mystery stamping, but she also is super good about stepping in when Michelle needs some help on Thursday nights. We're just a big family. That's how I feel. And um, I know that Michelle's mother-in-law is on here. Virginia is on. So she's an addition to the family. We're just a bunch of stamping friends who just get together here on YouTube and have a good time. All right. So y'all can see that I'm just letting it just run around. And I think that that is just gorgeous. Now this has to completely dry. And I don't know if y'all can tell. Hi, Lila Tease from us from Arkansas. Haven't seen you in a while. I don't know if y'all can tell um, the gold versus we're going to let this dry. And if y'all will remind me, we'll bring it back. I'm going to let that run off. You'll see how it's just running off onto my paper towel. I'm going to let it run off so that it'll hurry up and dry. Oh, I said seven. I said seven. When? When did I say seven? It's, I started at 7 p.m. Never knew you could color dazzle paper, says um, Mary Yates. All right, y'all remind me to bring this back and we're going to compare the color. I'm glad I'm teaching you something new, Mary. Okay, I'm going to put this here and then maybe that'll help us remind each other. Okay, um, and, and as you can see, I used a lot of my um, ink refill. Okay, what is next? Okay, speaking of ink refills, here is our card. Um, oh, while I was doing the reef, the ink drops. Okay, thank you. Seven, eight. Well, when I said, okay, okay, now I know what you guys are talking about. All right, when I said seven and then I said seven again, um, seven didn't come out. <laughs> so I had to do it again. Okay, we are going to be doing some coloring of tissue paper. And I just want to show you the supplies that I used. I'm going to get my ink refills out. Y'all, it's hard to be on this side of the camera. I'm focusing and I say stuff and do stuff. And then I'm like, wait, what? What are y'all talking about? <laughs> All right. The stamp set that I'm using is, I'm actually going to be using it on another card too, but we'll get it out. It's called Cheers to the Season. It is in the, um, can you color dazzle paper with your ink pad? I don't know. I don't know. Now you got me wondering. Okay. Y'all remind me to circle back around to dazzling and I will get, I will try to color it with an ink pad. Good question. It's going to leave ink marks. I know it will leave the ink marks, but we can try it. You know, like the shape of the ink pad. All right. So cheers to the season. It is um, in the holiday, on um, holiday mini. I'll, I'll never stop calling it that. It is in the January. <laughs> September to January or December mini catalog. All right. Um, I did use the stamp. Um, I did that with um, our, my favorite copper uh, embossed powder and stuff, but we're going to be working on the background. Okay. So it is helpful to have some um, Elmer's stick glue for this. Um, I also chose to use the Neutrals Adhesive Back Sequins, very metallic-y. I've got my copper, my gold, just very pretty uh, colors. So I used that. Forgot I need this. Okay. Um, I have three ink refills. They are Crush Curry, Old Olive, and Pecan Pie. And then I have my water painters. Oh, my gosh. What did I, what was, I was telling my grandson something. And I was reading him a story and I said something funny, like y'all say I talk funny sometimes. And he repeated it and I was like, uh oh, your parents are going to kill me. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, Renee, you are my sidekick. Um, I have a piece of tissue paper and it is way larger than my uh, basic white layer that I'm going to add it to. But we're just going to ball it up really, really tight. 
blender brush would be a good idea. Blender brush to color this or to color the dazzling um, paper. I think the we can try the blending brush too, you know? Y'all remind me, y'all remind me. All right, so I'm really scrunching that up. I really want it all wrinkly. And this is just tissue paper that you would use in a gift bag or something or to wrap around a gift. So we're gonna open it back up. We don't want to um, smooth it out. We want those wrinkles. Yeah, y'all want me to color the dazzling, okay. Um, hi, Annie Gilliam. How are you, my friend? You haven't been around. I hope you're doing well. Um, I went ahead and got some purple Elmer's glue so that y'all could maybe see it on camera. Um, I did try this with our liquid glue. You can do that. However, I noticed that I could see kind of a yellowy glue color through my paper, through my tissue paper, um, even after it dried. So just be aware of that. Um, of course, I'm coloring that tissue paper, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I just want you to be aware. I chose to go ahead and use um, a, a stick glue because I need it to dry for our class tonight. So we're going to put this on. Now you can see the purple. It's okay. But at least it's not a wet glue. <laughs> um, you can use alcohol markers to color the dazzling paper. Okay, so when you use the alcohol markers, does it not tear up the tip? That's what I worried about. I didn't want to use a marker on there. <clears throat> um, okay, so this is obviously really, really big. I'm going to trim that down a little bit. I'll just use my snips. Um, but I am going to wrap it around, so don't... Don't cut it too close. We just want to wrap it and not have a raw edge um, is what I prefer. Kind of miter my corners a little bit, just kind of cut them off. <clears throat> you use the side of the marker to do the coloring. Okay. And it doesn't hurt it, huh? It's just super fun to color it because it's like, well, I don't really need gold or I don't need, um, I think it's a champagne color. Um, so that makes it kind of nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and use some seal plus to attach the back of my tissue, you know, to get the tissue paper to stick. And can I kind of fold that in? Okay. Okay. So we've just secured the back kind of Kind of tacky, but it's okay. Um, and you can still see the purple, the glue. Um, however, it is not, whoops, um, it's not wet. So like I was trying to say, the liquid glue stays wet longer. And I don't know, I, I guess it wouldn't hurt it, but I didn't want it to be wet. So, all right, I'm going to take my ink refills. I think first I'm going to get some more paper towel. Um, okay. So grandma Jane says, I think you could use a stamp pad and a blender brush to color the glimmer paper and it's not as messy. Okay. We can give all of it a try. That way you guys have other options. If you don't like the mess, I don't know why y'all wouldn't like the mess. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So I'm going to put I don't know. I don't know how many drops. I'm not going to go there again. I'm going to put some ink refill on my acrylic block. You could use a paper plate. Um, you could use whatever you want to use. I just chose to use 
Uh oh. <laughs> My crushed curry doesn't want to come out. Come on. <clears throat> Renee, Renee. Renee has always such good ideas. So we were chatting last night. I am sorry this is taking so long. I don't know. This is a brand new bottle. So it doesn't want to work tonight. <clears throat> we were talking about the next VIP mystery party. And she honestly came up with a fabulous idea. It's going to be a hoot. It's going to be a hoot. So you'll have, you'll find out more details on that. Now I am taking, um, where's my, I think I wanted a spoon. Hold on. Well, I need water. I need water. And I should have gotten a water bottle. So I'm going to do this. Um, you could let, you could let the bow try I'm sorry, Kathy, I'm not understanding. I'm um, talking about the glue stick drying. It dries pretty quick. So um, I'm going to, oh, this is scary. I don't want to spill this. We're just going to pick this up. I see a mess happening. Yep. Told you. <laughs> Told you so. Okay. Okay. We're just going to do this one first. Where's my card? Okay. And we're just going to paint. And when we paint, you can see the texture of the tissue paper. Who that is a mess. We're going to take care of this, though. I promise. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. And we're just coloring. Okay. Um, we're just painting and coloring that. I've got a stray brush bristle right there. So we're going to come back in. And there we go. Look how fun. So I love how it gets all in the texture of our um, tissue paper. Look at me. I just happen to have an extra paper towel right here. I'm going to blot that. Perfect. Okay, we're not going to do that again. <laughs> I'm going to rinse off my water. And I'm going to do this instead. So my next color kind of goes down here and it's pretty dark because I didn't add much water to it, but I'm okay with that. This is our pecan pie. Y'all say it that way or you say pecan. Renee, how do you say it? I'm sure I'm saying it wrong in her eyes. Renee is, okay, so yeah, we were talking about the mystery, VIP mystery party. I got to get, I got to get grim, I got to get grim baby number 14 here. I swear, I think I like it better not so watered down. I'll show you a comparison. Um, anyway, after grandbaby number 14 arrives and everybody is settled down, then we're going to do, um, leave the lid on and just spray it a bit. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. <clears throat> but thank you. I will, I will do, I will do that on the green. How's that? Um, so yeah, after we get grand, grand baby number 14 here and everybody settled down, we're going to do a VIP mystery party again. And Renee has come up with, I'm going to add the water here and we're going to blend it that way. Renee has come up with a fabulous idea that you guys don't want to miss. So stay tuned. And she just giggled the whole time she said it, too. <laughs> All right. So now I'm just painting the old olive. I don't know what that stray bristle is. Let's get that thing to settle down. Oh, my gosh. This is so much prettier. The colors. Now, it's going to dry. When it dries, it'll be a little bit softer. But keep this in mind. I'm going to show you a comparison of my other card and so the more water, you're going to water it down. Um, and then, you know, not so much water, you're going to have a really pretty dark, very fallish card. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. We're going to do this. Pecan, pecan, pecan. 
So pecan or pecan? You said pecan properly, says Judy. Judy, I'm going to go with you, my friend. I'm from Virginia originally. So, all right, let's get my other card back in. Look at the difference. This has more water and you can tell. <gasps> but look how gorgeous. Trudy says, okay, yeah. My husband used to say a pecan and was something you carried in the back of a car for emergencies. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> All right. So that is our second technique. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. Okay. What is our next technique? Ah, yeah. This is a favorite. Okay, I need, oh, we're going to move our water. I don't need you anymore. And I don't need you. I'm going to be using some ink pads, some blending brushes. And I'm going to be doing the bouquet or boca technique. Look how pretty. Doesn't that just look like a New Year's Eve party? I don't know. Uh, cheers, you know. So again, this is using the um, same stamp set, the cheers to the season. I did fussy cut that out, stamped it on scrap paper, um, used a little bit of vellum, but we're going to be doing the background. So <clears throat> I created a template. Now, you could use acetate, the window sheets, okay, to make your template of different sizes of circles, okay? Um, and where in Virginia? I was born in Portsmouth, Virginia at Portsmouth General. I don't even know if that's still a hospital anymore. You want to uh, use either circle punches or I ended up using... Um, the stylish shapes dies because I had lots of circles to play with. Okay. And you want to create a template. Now I just made my template out of a printer paper. You could do acetate, but, um, and I did note this in the um, instructions that if you use acetate and you use circle punches, it is very hard to punch acetate. And because these are stitched, Mm -hmm. I have stitching right here and I was not happy with using these dies with acetate window sheets. Okay. So keep all that in mind when you're doing this um, bokeh technique. Okay. So that's how we created our template. We're going to be needing a uh, Whisper White craft ink pad, and we're going to need a sponge dauber. Hi, Tree Ann. How are you? You came in at, we are on technique number three. Yep, we're on technique number three, but you can always watch the replay and catch those other techniques. Now, I just have a piece of basic white, and... I'm going to be <clears throat> normally, you know, how do I say this? When I'm using the blending brushes, normally I'm going to be blending. I'm using the blending brushes for this technique to add a lot of color. Okay. I really need it to be bold and vibrant. Okay. And so I'm just going around in circles, really adding a lot of ink. I don't know if y'all can see how shiny that is, but I am really adding the ink. Okay. And we're going to switch colors and I'm going to go to um, Tahitian Tide. And <gasps> Melinda was born in Newport News. No way. See, we're from the same area. Do you still live in Virginia? I left Virginia when I was 16. Nothing personal, just time to move to Texas. Uh, let's see. 
just want to add a lot, a lot, a lot. So I would, I would recommend for this technique to pick like three to five colors of ink. Um, but just remember, you know, you got to be able to squeeze it in somehow with the blending brushes. You could use the smaller blending brushes like this one to get in with different colors. Judy says that she missed the first two. She'll watch the replay. This is Orchid Opulence. I think I have become addicted to this color. Um, what else did I use it on? I used it on something else. Okay, so now I'm going to come in here. And we're just going to add, I need some more ink. Kind of overlapping is okay. It doesn't really matter. We just want to get that ink really heavy on here. So now Melinda lives in West Virginia. <laughs> yes, ma'am, Judy, I got here as fast as I could. I was 16. We won't tell you the full story. Renee knows the full story, but we're not going to tell about that, are we, Renee? <laughs> Renee and I have similar stories, which is really funny. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm just adding the ink really very heavily. Um, you want this ink to dry as best you can, okay? Uh, let's see. Let's go here. What did I say? Orchid Opulence? Orchid Oasis. Y'all, y'all should not listen to me. <laughs> I'm addicted to this color and I don't know the name. <laughs> Orchid Oasis. You know, when I was typing the instructions earlier, I said to myself, Orchid Opulence. I was like, no, that's not right. That's an old color. That's an old color. Y'all, don't, don't try to find that. That's an old color. Uh, let's see. I think we need some more Tahitian. Tahitian Tide. Hi, Kay Charles. First time to catch me live. Welcome. I am doing my technique class for the month of October. Um, I am making a mess, but hey, that's what... That's what crafters do. I'm doing the bokeh technique right now. And I'm really adding a lot of ink to my layer. Okay, I think I've got it all covered. That's the key. TN says that she is originally from the heart of Texas. And that's where I'm from. Well, that's where I'm at now. I'm in Kyle, Texas, which is in the hill country, or we say in the heart. Um, now, I have got some ink on my hands. If you guys don't know my trick, I keep some um, hand sanitizer right here so that I can keep on going. Mary says, I keep all my old colors. I knew what you meant about orchid. See, Mary's got my back. Mm -hmm. Orchid Oasis. All right, let's move all this over. And like I said, this needs to be dry. I need to grab my heat gun and I'm going to dry this. Thank you, Mary, for having my back, my friend. Now you can see how vibrant those colors are. And I'm going to kind of touch it. Feels pretty. Feels pretty dry. Okay. We just need it to be dry. Where's our template? All right. So now we're going to start adding the circles. Okay. We, um, I do recommend too that, and I did it right before we started, but you want to make sure that you have a really good inked up ink pad. Um, I'm going to just show you, this is a really thick ink, and so I just kind of squirt it around. I'm going to primarily focus in the center today, but we just want a lot of ink. And when you buy this stamp pad, it comes uninked. 
And I don't even remember when I bought the bottle last. I mean, years. It lasts a long time. Okay, I do need my spoon. I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to push that in just a little bit. If you have missed any of my other techniques, um, Michelle has put in the chat the link to go to my um, tutorial store. So it's over on the blog and you can find the link below the video as well if you're watching the replay. But you can go over there and see all of the different techniques that I have done. Now you're gonna notice this is a little bit pink. It is gonna pick up some of my red. I don't know why. Red is just, y'all know, red is a, its own little, um, it lives in its own little world. <laughs> So I'm going to get some ink and I'm going to start inking up. And when you're doing this technique, you kind of want to overlap. And I didn't re-ink. Do y'all see? I'm just coming back in and I'm tapping and I'm just kind of rubbing. The Boca technique is just different shades of the blurred image okay so now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do this again I still have not re-inked my sponge dauber so we're just covering it doing it different ways when you use the um um, window sheet you can kind of see through it but it doesn't have you don't have to so if you don't have any of the window sheets the um, acetate you can just use a piece of printer paper I don't recommend cardstock though because um, it's kind of thick when you cut it out and you really want to get you just want a thinner piece of paper just don't use cardstock just trust me just trust me so you can see how it's coming along. And I'm going to do this one. So we're just kind of overlapping our circles. And I love the fact that I don't have to keep re-inking, right? Makes it go by a lot faster. Want some little ones. Red is magnetic. It jumps onto everything, no matter how careful you are. Exactly, Trudy. You are so right. Okay, so I do have a question. Next weekend is the Creative 8 Retreat. Who is coming? Um, if you don't know about the Creative 8 Retreat, it is an online retreat, um, virtual, that is held on YouTube. It will be Thursday, mm -mm, Friday night, the 13th. Friday the 13th. Let's just put a, a you know... We're just going to change. We do, we do Mystery Mondays to make Mondays a good day. And we're going to have a Creative 8 retreat to make Friday the 13th. Like, it's a great day. Anyway, um, it is held, like I said, here on YouTube. Not, a, not this channel, but a different one. And anybody can come. Anybody, anywhere in the world. Um, Jackie Scott says, thank you. Uh, very nice, Sharon. And yes, I'm coming. Yay! Delina says, I can't wait to attend the retreat. Woohoo! Lisa Brown is coming. Michelle Batson will be there. Um, okay. Kathy is coming. Mary Walk says that she loves this. She hasn't seen this. I am now going to take my sponge dauber and I want to use that as a circle. Look how cool. Now, again, we need to let this all dry. But you just have fun with the dots. Have fun with the dots. Kate Wright says that it is her 14th retreat. This is our 15th one to do. Can, can you believe that? Okay, so this is the finished card. The um, craft ink will settle down, but look how gorgeous. Isn't that so pretty? Uh, it just shows up so good on camera too. Yay! Okay, so we got that one done. Um, 
Rochelle will be there. Leanne will be there. Uh, Rose Marie will be there. Yay. Okay. So if you're not coming, if you have any questions, let us know. Um, okay. What is our next technique? Our next technique is we're going to be using some more blending brushes. Roxanne, I'm so glad y'all love the bokeh technique. It's so pretty. Um, so let's talk about the circle punches that Stampin' Up! has right now. They're really large. I don't recommend those. Y'all saw, y'all saw, I didn't use those. They're really big. Um, I recommend something small, starting off with smaller circles. Trudy says that she is missing, um, ah, you're missing the Creative 8 retreat this time, Trudy? Oh man, we'll miss ya. The colors that I used for my card, whoops, let me show you the card. <gasps> Look at those colors. Is that not gorgeous? I think the Boca and this card are just my favorites. Okay. Now let me remind y'all of something. I might be teaching you new techniques, but I also might be reminding you of old ones, things that you already know. But the, remember the whole concept of my idea, my dream to over, you know, for years has been to have all of my techniques in a reference book. And that's what I showed at the beginning of the video. So I want to make sure that I put in my book and that you put in your book um, the fact that you can use blending brushes. Don't forget that. And um, Kate Wright, don't you just think that is the water, girlfriend? Mm -hmm. uh, Cheryl said that she really likes the last technique. There you go. Okay. All right, let's do this one. I have a piece of basic white. Um, I used pecan pie for my turtle and I fussy cut him out. And then I used it to stamp um, your toad because you're, you're all totally awesome. I used waves of inspiration for the greeting. And then I used the sea turtle um, stamp set. Okay. So that's what I used. I also used the adhesive back glitter sequins because it's shiny, right? We need that bling. All right, now we are going to start off with Coastal Cabana. It is our lighter color. Um, here we go. Whoops. Okay, I don't need pecan pie for this. And we're going to really get... Now, when you're doing the blending technique, when you're using blending brushes, we want to get a lot of ink on our brush. And we kind of want to start off the paper and we're just adding it in circular motions. Okay. Um, and the, the beauty of it is we can start off really light and add more and get it darker. Okay. Um, when you come on to, when you're using the blending brushes, if you don't start off the edge, you could end up with a big blob and it's really hard to, um, it's really hard to blend it when it's the blob. <laughs> that sounded funny, but it's true. It's true. The sea turtle stamp set. My favorite. Love my turtles. Yes, ma'am, Michelle. I know you do. Michelle, now you have a card to make with your turtles. All right. I'm just going to come in. And the whole thought of this is to add color on top of color. Um, and to, to teach you. Now, you got to be careful. Because, and, and I even said this in this in the instructions, try not to get, and I, you know, I've got some ink on my fingers. Try not to get ink on the white part of your card. So the beauty of the blending brushes is to be able to add color, build color, as we are um, trying to decide how we want to do it. Okay. All right, come up just a little bit more. We wanna make sure we've got room for our turtle when we're making that card. Gotta make sure I do enough for Michelle so she can make her card. Okay, so <clears throat> you can kind of see a darker at the top, which doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be adding some more color to it. So next I'm gonna take blueberry bushel. And blueberry bushel combined with Coastal Cabana is gorgeous. Just saying. Okay. Again, starting off, 
and coming up. And when you just blend it like this, it really does look like the ocean with the different layers of color. And I thought adding more blueberry bushel, just giving it a deeper, deeper blue really looked like the, the deeper parts of the ocean. I don't know how I did it. I don't see anything, but there's another smudge. So y'all be careful. What you should have, what I should have done was cover this like that. Mm -hmm. I had the paper out and everything. Yeah. We just don't want to, or you know what I was doing? This is another trick. I actually did it like this so that I could hold on to it like that. So there's a tip for you. Put a post-it note. It doesn't have to be that big but put a post-it note so that you can turn it. It's like a handle and so that um, you don't get smudges on your cardstock. Okay. That's our blending brushes. What do y'all think? Isn't it pretty? Ah, oh, so pretty, so pretty. Okay. Roxanne says she has not used her turtles yet, so this technique is perfect for her. Yay, Roxanne. I'm so glad. Okay, so that's that technique. Now, our last technique is another one of those that needs to be in our book so that we don't forget, but I'm kind of stepping it up just a tad. So I need, let me get my supplies here. Now, before I forget, Stampin' Up! has got a fabulous promotion. If you are a paper crafter and you love to save money, Stampin' Up! has a great deal during the month of October to join my team. You could join anybody's team, but why wouldn't you want to join my team? Um, and I'm just going to show you all this. You can get 35% off of your kit, which the kit is $99, so you would pay like $64, or you can get 35% more product with your starter kit. You just go to my website, SharonArmstrong.StampinUp.net, and you can choose which one you get. Plus, they're going to give you free registration to the annual uh, virtual convention called On Stage in November. Um and then you're still a demonstrator long enough that you can attend the onstage in person in March in Houston, Texas, and meet me like Kate Wright is. Mm -hmm. Kate's ready. She's got her stuff ready. She is coming to Texas. So, yeah, we could, like, do selfies and have fun. Yeah, y'all need to do that. Just saying. I'm just saying. You need to be a demonstrator on my team. So. If you have a wish list that's more than $100, you get free shipping, you get a free paper pumpkin, you get so much if you join during October. Sending Smiles is the stamp set that I chose. Um, I wanted a big word, so I used sending. Um, the, oh, the card, here we go. So we're gonna be doing some embossing, but can you see around the word? I'm doing embossing and highlighting. There we go. I know, Kate, I can't wait either. It's going to be so fun. I use the Distress Tile 3D embossing folder, okay, for the background. And I just have a scrap of Melon Mambo. Let me get... This is, this is my... Um, when I'm going to do embossing, um, this is my dirty one. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Do y'all do y'all do that? Do you have this is my clean pad and this is my dirty pad? I'm going to be using the embossing buddy. Now, the embossing buddy and the, the tray and all of that is part of the embossing, embossing additions um, toolkit that you can find on my website. This little thing right here gets the static out of the cardstock. I'm going to be using Versamark ink. And why do I want to get the static out if you've never done embossing? 
Um, when I go to pour the embossing powder, it will stick to places that has static. And then when I use my heat gun, it's going to melt that powder where I don't want it. Okay. So that's why we need to use the embossing buddy. Um, so I'm going to ink up my stamp since it's kind of a big stamp. I'm going to ink it up this way. Yeah, Mary Yates lives in Texas. Who else was in Texas? There were several of y'all from Texas. Y'all could all be in Houston. Um, and we could hang out. It's like a Thursday night, Friday, Saturday event. Okay. Um, with Stampin' Up! So it'll be, and I'm just saying, I might get recognized for hitting my million. I might get to go across stage. So there's that. I'm hoping. I don't know. Things have changed. Uh, we haven't really done big in-person events in a while. So who knows? But there's another thought. Okay. Um, Brenda says, I love the red and blue. The red and blue. Jackie is in Rockport, Texas. I need to come to Rockport. I love to go to the little shops in downtown Rockport. There's actually one, I can't think of the name of it. I know how to get there, but there's one that I love to go to and get um, my favorite lotion. I did have to break down and buy some on Amazon, but I like to buy it from local people. So it's called um, 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 Innis. It's Innis. It's just my favorite and I can't remember the name of it. I'll have to post it. I'll have to show y'all. All right. So um, yes, Lisa Brown is a Texan. She's going to be there. Um Michelle said, I lived in Texas when I was three um, and four years old. So, yeah, that was a while. Um, Carrie says, sorry if this has been asked, but I'm wondering if people who join Sharon's team get the tutorials for free, like the technique and fun fold tutorials on her blog. My team members do receive all of my classes that I offer um, for customers. They do receive um, access to those for free. We also do a monthly Zoom. We do, um, um, we have a birthday list. So people send birthday cards. We do a lot of stuff virtually because that's, most of my team is spread out all over the United States. So good question, uh, Carrie. I'm going to heat this up. Kathy is a Texas gal and Mary's in Pearland. Mary, I'm going to see you right in person. I see you in Houston. Pearland is right there. You're right there. It's about a three hour drive for me, but it's right there for you, Mary. I love embossing. I think it's just so elegant. So, Mary, once I get registered for Houston, then um, I will know what hotel and all of that. Um, last time we got together, um, I did kind of a meet and greet just to try to meet people. So I might do something like that. Um, just got to get it's just got to get closer to March before I can make any plans. So I've done the embossing. TN says I'll be in Texas in November for my dad's 90th birthday. Uh, happy birthday to him. Donna says she's been here in Texas since 1970. And Cheryl Thompson says she's a Texan at heart. So there you go. All right. So we've got our embossing and it's just so elegant. Embossed, um, when, you, when you do heat embossing, it is raised and it's just very pretty. Now to step that up, like if it needs anything else, you could take the same color of a marker. Now I know why I had that extra paper towel. Hold on. Let me get this. And you can do something called highlighting. <clears throat> Mary says we should do a meet or, and greet or a lunch. That would be so much fun. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I hope y'all can see me, is I'm just going to trace the words, the letters of sending. If I get on the embossing, it is 
not going to hurt it like right there. Um, the ink will not stick to the embossing. Um, it's too, it's too plasticky. <laughs> so I'm able to just wipe it off with a paper towel. And so I'm just following the outline and just giving it a little bit more dimension. It's called shadowing or highlighting. I did try to use lighter colors, but I ended up coming back and using the darker. Coming inside, there we go. Hi, Diane from Lawton, Oklahoma. So can y'all see that? So we embossed and then we highlighted it. There you go. Pretty, huh? Okay. Oh, Andrea says 4 a.m. coming quickly. Good night. I'm glad you joined us. If you all are just now joining us, we did several techniques tonight. Um, so I invite you to go back to the re to the beginning and watch the replay. <coughs> okay, let me get some water. Now, I don't know if y'all can tell. This is dry. Um, this was done with the gold. And this is, so you can see the difference, right? Y'all can tell on the camera, okay? You can see the difference. So let me get my dazzling paper out. So gold or champagne. So we colored it with melon mambo. So there's the champagne, there's the gold. This is almost, what do I want to call that? <laughs> it's a pink gold. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think of the right word, but it is very pretty. Um, were you doing the A? Oh, did I do the A? Doing what A? What are we talking about? M. Wyman, were you doing? Oh, the, the D. Oh, the middle of the D? Sorry, you're right. I skipped the D. I thought you said A. So there's that and that. And I did get a little bit of... So it's very faint, but it does come off if you get any of the marker on there. Okay, so we have that one and that one. And we were going to play really quick with doing some things with the, um, I'm going to move all these out of the way, doing some things with the Dazzle paper. Y'all wanted to know if you could use, um, where's our other technique? Oh, yeah, this one. Okay. You wanted to know if we could do an ink pad. Let's try, since we have blueberry bushel here, let's try that rose gold, rose Marie, rose gold. That's the word. Y'all wanted to know if we could do, um, um, hi, Sarah Kendall, glad you're here. Yeah, go back and watch the replay, but don't leave us just yet. You wanted to know if we could use an ink pad to ink up the paper. Looks like we can. Okay. Um, I'm inking it up. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of ink. I'm inking it up just like I would a stamp. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that. And that's not as messy except right here. So we want to make sure that we have um, something down. Now, what was the other thing y'all said? How else did y'all say to do it? Um, the dark shadowing shows it much better. Yeah. Look how pretty. Okay. Oh, I know y'all said with a, a Stampin' Blend. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> y'all said that you could color this with Stampin' Blends. You sure that won't tear? I, okay, hold on. Okay, I'm going to get an old Stampin' Blend because this is um, Bermuda Bay and we don't sell it anymore. Blending brushes. Okay, okay, okay. So y'all didn't say this. Okay, I'm happy you're not doing that. Blending brushes. 
Let's do Coastal Cabana. And did I freeze? I'm still good. Okay. All right. So now we're going to. So this may not be a dark enough color. It is very faint. Let's get a darker color. <coughs> I thought somebody said markers. Let's get. We're going to get Orchid Oasis. <laughs> Let's get Orchid Oasis and see if a darker one comes in better. I don't know. It's just the blending brushes work, but they are very, very light. Y'all see the difference? That's Coastal, and then this is Orchid Oasis. Now, where I'm coming in over here, oh, my gosh. Y'all, look. See what happens when you use a darker color? Can y'all see? All right. So, I think you put, can y'all see what I did? You put, you pat it with an ink pad and then use your blending brush to get that ink down in there. There we go. Does the blending brush leave little sparkles on the ink pad? Nope. Nothing came off. This paper, nothing comes off of this paper. It's not like glitter. All right, so we've got that. And since we have the alcohol, look at what I do for y'all. <laughs> that is very wet, just in case. <laughs> the sacrifices I do for my live audience. But if inquiring minds want to know, I want to tell you, I am not going to do that. I'm just going to try to clean this mess up. Do you ever have, do you have blending brushes for each color? Nope. I tell you what I do. I will take these blending brushes to the sink with Dawn dish soap and scrub them. This is going to be a hot mess to get off. Um, <laughs> It's fine. This is what we do. We get messy. But keep that in mind. I'm glad it happened because I wouldn't want y'all to do that. It's just like I made y'all, I, I uh, set that other one aside. Y'all see how wet that is? So you got to remember that if you do any of this, um, that it does make a mess. Okay. Last thing we're going to try is using an alcohol... Uh, blending brush, uh, mm -mm, stamp and blend. We did the blending brushes. So, okay, okay, it's working. I'm not as scared. I was afraid it would chew up the blending brush, the stamp and blend. Too many blending things. Okay, that works. So, I would do that for a smaller area. Look how pretty. That is. Uh, Bermuda, no, uh, Coastal Cabana. Nope, Bermuda Bay. We don't sell it anymore. And I was willing, ah, uh, this could have, uh, I didn't check it very good anyway. My tip is getting mushy, but it could have been mushy before I started. This is an old one. Okay. Y'all are welcome. Y'all come clean up this mess. <laughs> the spritz for the stamp cleaner pad works on hands too. The spritz for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This we're talking about stamp and mist. Oh, yeah. We'll be using that. OK. <clears throat> Who's going to join my team? <laughs> Who's going to come to the retreat? <laughs> we talked about a lot of things. Um, it is uh, 10 after eight. My techniques have now gone on sale over in the um on my technique store. You can find the link below the video. If you're new to my videos, you just now found me, I would be honored if you would subscribe, ring that little bell, and you'll be notified when I go live like this, or if I upload a video, which is going to be happening for the a uh, couple of times during the month of October. Uh, we have grandbaby number 15, 14, not 15, 14 that is due any minute. Um, Sharon takes one for the team. Yes, I did. 
Mm -hmm. Messy techniques, messy techniques. So um, if you place a $50 order, I will send you the PDF tutorials for free. And anybody who needs um, bling for their face, you can find that at my store too. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll try to be back on Monday for mystery stamping. I'm going to do my best. Um, and most likely, no, for sure, next Thursday night will be a pre-recorded video. However, the chat will be open. Michelle will be here. I'm assuming Renee will be here. I did not ask her. I will try to be here, um, but it will be a recorded video and you don't want to miss it because it's really a cute card. Actually, it's more than one. So bye y'all. Have a good evening.